What is DDNS? So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now DDNS stands for Dynamic Domain Name System. Now I previously did a video where I talked about DNS. And if you're not familiar with what DNS does, I highly recommend that you watch that video also. And you can find that video on my YouTube channel. But in this video, I'm going to talk about Dynamic DNS. So just as a refresher as to what DNS does, if you type in a web address in your web browser, DNS is what transforms that domain name to an IP address. So for example, when you type in youtube.com in your web browser, the DNS server will search through its database to find a matching IP address for that domain name. And when it finds the IP, it'll transform that domain name to the IP address of the YouTube web server. In a DNS database, a domain name such as youtube.com is mapped or joined to an IP address. And that IP address must not change. In other words, it must be a static IP. Because if YouTube's IP address changes to a new IP address, people will not be able to access YouTube's website because YouTube.com is still joined to the old IP address. So if the IP address does change, DNS will update their database with the new IP address for YouTube.com so people can find YouTube. Now this may not sound like a big deal, however the problem is, is that it could take up to 24 hours for DNS to update their database with the new IP. And that is a problem, because that means that YouTube will lose up to 24 hours worth of business until DNS does the update. And this is the main reason why websites, organizations, and companies use static IP addresses and not dynamic IP addresses. So DNS is used with static IP addresses, but dynamic DNS is used with dynamic IP addresses. A dynamic IP address is where an IP address gets an IP from a DHCP server. Therefore, the IP address changes periodically. Dynamic DNS is a service that allows you to access devices that are in your home, such as a computer, router, or security camera, and you can access them from anywhere in the world, even if your IP address changes. Dynamic DNS is mainly used in homes, because internet service that are used in homes are given a dynamic IP and not a static IP. So let's do an example. So let's say you're at work and then you wanted to access your home computer using Microsoft Remote Desktop. So you would open up the Remote Desktop service from your work computer and then you would type in the IP address for your home. And then you would type the password and then you're connected. So you already knew what the IP address was for your home because you either wrote it down or maybe you memorized it. However, since you have a home account with your internet service provider, your IP address is dynamic and it will change periodically. And if it changes without you knowing about it, the next time that you want to remote access your home computer, you will not be able to because you're typing in your old IP address and not your updated one. So this is where dynamic DNS comes in. Dynamic DNS allows you to access your home computer even if your IP address changes. It allows you to create a custom host name such as myhomepc.ddns.org or whatever. And then you can link that host name to your computer. So if your home IP address does change, Dynamic DNS will update the new IP address and map it to your custom host name automatically. So Dynamic DNS will ensure that you will always have access to your home computer even if your IP address changes. So for example, now let's say you wanted to access your home computer again. But instead of typing your home's IP address, you would type in your custom host name that you created with Dynamic DNS. So you would type in myhomepc.ddns.org and then you'll be connected. So no matter how many times your IP address changes, it doesn't matter. Because whenever you want to access a device in your home, you will always use your custom host name instead of the IP address. 
and Dynamic DNS will always make sure that the correct IP address is mapped to your custom hostname. And if you're interested in getting a Dynamic DNS service, there are several vendors that you can choose from. With some you have to pay, but some are also free. So I'll put links of some of them in the description below of this video. And thank you for watching.